How old do you have to be to rent a car? Can I rent a car for Uber Eats delivery? What if your credit isn't that good? Do you need a credit card or a credit check to rent for Uber? I have an answer for all of your questions. Hey, I'm Patricia and I'm here with the Ride Share Guy. But before I answer, I would like to say thank you for subscribing, commenting, and sharing. We upload videos every week. In today's video, I'm going to take the time to answer a few of our common questions that was asked after we did a video on how to rent a car with Uber. Some of the questions I felt were good questions. So let's jump into it. One of the common questions were, how old do you have to be to rent a car? To rent a car with Avis, you need to be 25 years old. To rent a car with Hertz, you need to be at least 21. So Avis, at least 25 years old, and Hertz, at least 21 years of age. Another question, do you accept debit cards? Avis accepts debit cards only from physical banks, such as banks that you can walk into. And they make an exception to take Uber card if you're on the Uber app. So you can only rent with Avis under the Uber rental program using the Uber card. Other than that, any other debit card, no PayPal, no Cash App, no other debit cards are allowed and will be approved. Now, if you're using a debit card, they will, and this is Avis I'm speaking of, Avis will do a soft credit check. That credit check would not affect your credit score. Another question was, does it matter on how good your credit is? No, what Avis is looking for, as well as Uber, is any type of um, transactions or different things on your own personal credit card or your own personal credit that will probably be deemed as concerning. So that varies per person. With that, I would just say get with the rental company on which you're renting from, which is either Avis or Hertz, and continue to get more clarity on that. For that is an individual question um, as it relates to would you be denied. Now, let me show you the chart so we can clearly see the description and the difference between Avis and Hertz when you're written with these two companies. So let me show you. Here's another question. Is there a minimum amount of rides that you need to take in order to rent a car? Answer to that from Uber's perspective is no, there's no minimum amount. However, Avis and Hertz have a little different rules and it's kind of unwritten. So I just want to share this with you. They can take you off the platform. So let's just use Avis as an example. Avis have it to where their corporate office will let the local place on where you rented the car from they will let them know because they have access to the platform to check to see if you've been picking up any rides or any Uber Eats or any deliveries. They'll be able to see if you've done that. If you haven't done that in maybe three days or a week, they will possibly reach out to you and then ask if you're going to be working. If you're not, then they're going to ask for you to return a car back. Return a car back. Avis has a set amount of cars for Uber and a set amount of cars for, you know, their regular customers. So they found that some of the some of the drivers are just renting the cars because you can get a cheaper amount to rent the car through the Uber program, but not really make any rides. So because they are aware of that now, what are they doing? They are now paying attention to the platforms on the drivers that are renting from those locations so they can be sure that you are renting the car to also drive in addition to using it for your personal use. It's not that you can't use it for your personal use, but they are giving you that discounted price, that Uber price to rent with them on the basis that you are still also going to be working on Uber's platform. Someone asks if you don't see the option to rent a car on your app, why is that? Well, the reason for that is the Uber rental program is not in every location. Not coming up on your app and you don't see it as an option is not in your area. Now for you drivers that live in areas that 
the Uber rental program is not available, it doesn't mean that you can't rent a car. Let's just say you still need a car, you still want to work. What you just would need to do is rent a car from that location for wherever you're going to rent the car from. And then you would just provide Uber with vehicle registration, vehicle insurance, and vehicle inspection. And if you provide that information to them, then they can then register that car and get you up and running. I also want to mention that before renting a car, you want to be very clear on which platforms you are actually registered for. Because in my personal experience, I would not rent a car and just only do Uber Eats. But say if you want, you're already just scheduled for Uber Eats and you've never been registered to be a driver to pick up passengers, you would need to call Uber and get them to change, make that change a few days before you decide to rent your car. Because that can take between three to five days to set that up. Now let's talk about the benefits of renting for Uber. That was one of the questions. A lot of people I noticed are concerned about, do you really benefit? Are you really able to make any money renting a car? Well, here's some things to consider. So a situation that happened with me, my car needed to get some repairs, but I still wanted to drive and make sure I meet my quota, depending on your situation. If you don't need a car at the time and you're not gonna be driving a lot, then no, it may not be beneficial to you. But if this is your primary job and you would like to still have um, some will so you can get around and so you can still be able to be onto the app, the only thing is, is that, of course, the more you work, the more money you make. So you always got to think about if the car is $315 to rent that week, depending on how much of your quota you would like to make, if you want to make 1000 or 600 then you need to work at those different sets of times that will allow you to make that type of money. Now, something else I wanted to inform you about is one of the common issues that most drivers have is when you rent the car, you get a little confused on, did Avis or Hertz take out your money too soon? And then they will probably call you and then explain that they didn't take the money yet. And then there will probably be an issue where your car will get declined. Have any of you experienced that? Well, if you have, I have a clear explanation on why that happens. Let me show you. In this example, using Avis, you rent the car from December 6th to December 13th. The total amount is $315 a week. Avis sends an authorization to withdraw funds from your account. It puts the rental amount on hold for that week. It is not actually withdrawn from the account until the following Monday. It is not uncommon for the drivers to assume you are being double charged. Be aware, this can happen during rollover days when you stay in the car for multiple weeks. If you want to know more about renting a car for Rideshare, check out our article link in the description below. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. We upload videos every week. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, share our videos. We greatly appreciate it. Hit that notification bell. Until next time, bye.